In this video, we are going over how to run with the ball like Ricardo Kaká, the legendary Brazilian playmaker just retired the other day. So I moved this video up instead of the regular scheduled video for today as I want to go over one of the skills he was best known for. Kaká was absolutely amazing with the ball at his feet while running at speed. He was simply just elegant, quick, and in control of the ball at all times. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what he was doing in order to do this and how he was able to keep it simple yet still be incredibly effective. Many players will slow down when they have the ball at their feet, but Kaka almost seemed faster when he had it at his feet. He would push the ball far enough ahead of him when he had the space to do so, so that he could get into full stride and would keep it in closer control when he had more players around him. You'll see in these clips that he was amazing at being able to know how far ahead of himself he needed to push the ball in order to maintain control and not lose it to his opponents. You'll see he'll do a combination of quick touches and then longer touches that are further away from him. This is a skill that's very hard to develop but one that's essential to acquire if you want to become really good at dribbling the ball like Kaká. Kaká was also always looking for an opportunity to be able to push the ball out in front of himself in order to run at speed. He would make sure he would keep it in control in the tight spaces and then look for that open space where he could push the ball out in front of him and beat the defender for pace. I'm the voice. And like you've seen from these clips, even though he was great at running with the ball at speed and pushing it ahead of himself, he was also very skilled in close quarters, and so it didn't matter if he was running at speed or running with the ball in close control, he was still able to beat players one-on-one, -on -one, and sometimes one versus four or five. Another thing to consider is the way that Kaká would beat players when he would run with the ball. He never did any fancy stepovers or moves that would slow his stride down and that's very important to understand. Most of the time he would do very subtle body feints or drops of the shoulder in order just to fool the defender for a split second which would allow him to push the ball past him and continue running. In these clips you will see him using the inside of his foot just to push the ball past players and you will also see him doing small drops of the shoulders very very quickly in order to off balance them just for a moment. When you're traveling at high speeds and you want to keep your momentum, if you slow down to do certain skill moves, it's going to ruin your run. You need to learn how to do very quick body feints and other moves that work for you in stride in order to run with the ball like Kaka. Kaká was the absolute master of this. He would not only do this well with body feints and drops of the shoulder, he would also accelerate and decelerate strategically. You'll see many times that he will run as quickly as he can and then slow down a little and then do it again running as quickly as he can. The sudden change in acceleration would be enough to beat the player as he would wait for them to slow down and he knew he could beat them for pace after he has gotten them to slow down. You'll also notice when Kaka is dribbling, he uses his inside and outside of his foot effectively. Now, when you want to dribble with the ball in close control, I really recommend you use the outside of your foot. However, you can push the ball ahead of you with the inside and outside, and you can also tease a defender with the inside of your foot if you want to. However, when you are dribbling with speed, notice for the most part that Kaka uses the outside of his foot. Uh, it's not effective or efficient to dribble with the inside of your foot at speed for the most part. Here are a few drills you can do in order to work on this area. Each of these drills is going to help you with your dribbling at speed and in control. And in this first drill, which is called Pac-Man, you're going to use an 18-yard box to do this. You will be doing a combination of dribbling with the ball in close control, close to your feet, and dribbling with the ball more in stride where you're pushing it further in front of you. Uh, you're just going to do as the instructions say on the screen. You're going to every single time you hit a new line, switch technique, and by the end of it, you will be getting in a decent amount of fitness and many touches on the ball as well. 
The second drill is called gate dribbling, and for this one, you want to be moving as fast as you can, pushing the ball ahead of you, and then taking smaller touches as you approach the gate. Each time you go through the gate, you're going to switch on to your other foot, so you're going to be working with dribbling with both your right and left foot in this drill. This is another great drill to work on your dribbling at speed. It's going to work on your control with the ball, which is something you need to get good at if you want to start dribbling and running with the ball like Kaka, and it's also going to work on your fitness as well well. Finally, the last drill is called the Brazilian Box, which I thought was very appropriate for a Kaká video. And this one, again, you're going to be switching between pushing the ball out a little further and using the ball in closer control. Now, you can make the box bigger if you want to, but the idea is to sprint with the ball as you get to the cone. Then you're going to do it in close control, and then you're going to do sprinting again, and then close control again as well. You're then going to do it on the other side with your weaker foot. Again, this is going to improve your ability not only to dribble at speed and in close control but also your ability to turn and cut quickly when you want to change from acceleration to deceleration or deceleration to acceleration Okay, everyone, that is how to run with the ball like Ricardo Kaká. To end this video, I'm going to put in a clip of him at his last game for Orlando City, uh, marking what was an incredible career. So today is just about thank you. Thank you to the club, thank you everybody, thank you to my teammates. I'm going to miss you guys and I'll be a lion forever. From London to Taiwan, I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul.